watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Hello and welcome to ShopRite's Be the Media program. My name is Chuck Joseph and my family owns the ShopRite of West Hartford. In this segment, you'll see local stories about our community as told by local residents of all ages. As a resident and business owner in West Hartford, our ShopRite team is proud to support Be the Media. My family opened our store with the mission to have a positive impact on the community, and we are pleased to share that mission with you today. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the show.
something it helps please sir great job cause and I'm the group leader and we haven't been doing so well I we haven't been able to afford the badges we need them well all right I guess you got me let me just see if I could where's my hat why would my hat well we sell hats here would you like to buy one you sell hats yes well that's a coincidence and as you can see it's a very nice genuine hat Made in China. Oh, they make the best stuff. I know. Oh, man. So true. Yeah. So, yeah. sir, do you have the time? Oh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, half past a freckle. Hey, wait a minute, that's not right, is it? Wait, what happened to my watch? Oh, never mind, I forgot I was wearing a watch. Oh, that's a nice watch, too. He's such a sucker. I'm in a coward. People these days. And it looks like I got me a new watch. Charlotte reporting back in time to the 2016 Women's World Cup. Do you know the winner of the World Cup? The U.S. Here are two star players that helped us win the game. Alex Morgan and Carly Lloyd. Also, have you ever heard of the company FIFA? Well, I just found out that FIFA was founded in 1904 on May 21st. Thanks for watching West Hartford Community Television. Bye. Hi, I'm Eva, reporting from Fashion Week in Paris. Did you know that fa Paris Fashion Week is part of the Big Four? Others are London Fashion Week, Milan Fashion Week, and New York Fashion Week. Of another cool fact is the first Fashion Week was in 1945. That's 72 years ago. There are two Fashion Weeks a year in Paris. This model is wearing Betsy Johnson. For Be The Media, I'm Eva. Thank you for watching West Hartford Community Television. A bientôt! My name is Meredith, reporting from Westmore Park, a self-funded environmental education center. Did you know they have a rescued alpaca? That's right, his name is Olaf. <coughs> Westmore Park also has a community garden. F for Be The Medi Media, I'm Meredith. Thank you for watching West Hartford Community Television. For me? Yep, no problem, buddy. Go ahead. My name is Miles, reporting from ancient Egypt. The Pyramid of Khufu is the biggest pyramid in, in Egypt. The Egyptians have, have 700 high, hieroglyphics. Cats were, are, were the scared animal 
in Egypt. Well, let me finish. My name is Tyson, and I'm reporting um, outside of the New York State Building. I'm writing a bunch of notes. See? Did you know that Empire State Building was built in 11 months? Also, Empire State Building was supposed to be a landing place for airplanes. Wait, I have to get my paper. Wait, one second. And, okay. Well, Empire State Building was supposed to be, oh, I already did that. The Empire State Building has its own zip code. It is uh, 10118. Sorry, it's hard to find down here. To be in the media, I'm Tyson. Tyson, thank you for watching West Hartford. Uh, West Hartford's Community Television. My name is Andy, reporting from Pearl Harbor. Do you know the Japanese forces were led by Chuichi Naguma? The Japanese forces consisted of 353 planes. 11 other ships were sunk and 188 planes were destroyed. And that's your three facts about Pearl Harbor. My name is Betsy, reporting from the Eiffel Tower. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower is named after its engineer, Gustave Eiffel, and it was originally built for an entrance to the World Fair, but it is now one of the most recognizable buildings in the world. The Eiffel Tower used to be the tallest man-made structure in the world before being replaced by a building that is now in New York. The French name for it is La Toire Eiffel. For Be the Media, I'm Betsy. Thanks for watching West Hartford Community Television. Hi, my name is Liam, and today I'm recording from the Jurassic period. Today I'm going to tell you three facts about dinosaurs. My first fact is dinosaurs died 65 million years ago. And do you know how many species of dinosaurs are named? 700. And my third fact is dinosaur bones are found in China and Argentina. And that's the end. Make sure to keep learning and watch West Hartford Community Television. Bye. With the green screen ever since Thursday afternoon, we had a game show called FIFA, complete with floating heads. We can't, you see the picture changing, we're going through history, Eva went to fashion week. Liam went to the Jurassic Park and Andy to Pearl Harbor. <laughs> That's Andy. We had so much fun. Yeah! It's a place of movies, a place of films. It's a place of green and a place of tech. There's, There's so much that we share at Be The Media. It's a 
great place after all. It's a great place after all. It's a great place after all. It's a great place after all. It's a great, great place. There are just three cameras and one green screen. And a smile means friendship to everyone. It's a great, great place. Apples in a roll! Come back, come back, come behind me. Two, three. Making movies every day, every day, every day. Making movies every day, my fair lady. Filming and acting out, acting out, acting out. Filming and acting out, my fair lady. Wide shots, high shots, close ups, close ups, close ups. Wide shots, high shots, close ups, my fair lady. Fun backgrounds and green screens, green screens, green screens. Fun backgrounds and green screens, my fair lady. Having fun every day, every day, every day. Having fun every day, my fair lady. What? 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 Hi, I'm Lisa Burrell Matt, and we're here in West Hartford, Connecticut. Let me take you through our great community and show you all that it has to offer. Come on, take a walk with me. Located about 15 minutes west of downtown Hartford, it's a quick drive to New York City, Boston, and Rhode Island. In 2013, the Family Circle magazine named West Hartford one of the 10 best towns for families. And we love the sidewalks and the neighborhoods and the schools and it just was a very welcoming community. Yeah, we wanted a family friendly place to raise our kids up and make sure that we have fun living here too. Mm -hmm. so it's a lot of fun to be here. The West Hartford schools have been recognized by many magazines as top performing schools. U.S. News and World Reports has named the two high schools in the top 10 Connecticut high schools. The schools also received the Gold Medal of Distinction for being in the top 500 public schools nationwide. The Hartford Magazine ranked and named West Hartford as number one for schools, senior living, and most educated. The town center is like none other. The unhurried atmosphere encourages you to park and walk along the tree-lined brick sidewalks and stop by the fine specialty shops, restaurants, and one-of-a-kind boutiques. Our newest retail district, Blueback Square, is an upscale outdoor destination. Blueback Square has apartments for rent and condos for sale. West Hartford is home to a great aquatic center named Cornerstone Aquatic Center. Just across from Cornerstone Aquatic Center is the Veterans Memorial Skating Rink. The University of Hartford, St. Joseph's College, and the University of Connecticut offer concerts, art galleries, plays, museums, and sporting events all year long. On our eastern border, you'll find the world-renowned Elizabeth Park Rose Gardens in full bloom in June, and thousands of tulips and daffodils in March and April. During the summer months, there are outdoor concerts, and many local residents come to listen to some great music with picnic baskets in hand. With all that West Hartford has to offer, and its easy access to major cities nearby, who wouldn't want to call West Hartford home? If you're considering moving to West Hartford or any of the surrounding communities, I would definitely recommend Lisa Burrell Matt for that, um, for that job. She's incredible, she's responsive, she's reliable, and she'll get the job done. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, I think his dad did. If you'd like to learn more about West Hartford and the Greater Hartford Valley, I'm here to help. I've been fortunate to work with so many amazing people. Are you next? For West Hartford Community Television, my name is Brandon Cabral, and last night, Senator Chris Murphy hosted a town hall meeting that drew a standing room only audience. The meeting was held at the West Hartford Town Hall, and WHC-TV was on the scene to ask his constituents what they had to say. What brought you out today to uh, come and listen to Senator Murphy speak? I want to know um, what his possible um, action will be to counter uh, the horrible actions that have been taken and might possibly be taken by uh, our so-called president. Um, there is no fear, there is no anxiety, there is no sadness that you feel today about the direction of this country that cannot be cured by political action. I think he's doing a very good job, one, for Connecticut, but two, I like very much that he's become um, more prominent, if you would like that word, um, in the news. I, I like the way he speaks, I like his forcefulness, I like his dedication, and I wanted to come and listen to him this evening. And we, we've got to think about the way in which we structure activism on our side, right? I mean, how can we build an army of small dollar contributors um, that can stand up uh, an equal political force to that of the Koch brothers. Um, uh, so you just, I, I think we have to think about, uh, you know, I, I come back to this question of elections. We've got to think about building a political infrastructure um, that is built very differently than the oil industry and the Koch brothers build theirs, but is in the end equal in force. The New York Post have reported last week that he's actually one of the people on the shortlist that the Trump administration is actually concerned about for a 2020 bid. How would you feel about a Chris Murphy 2020 bid? Oh, I would support him 100%. As a matter of fact, I want to speak to somebody here. I would be very willing to help work on his campaign. I just repeat the two things I said at the outset, and then I'm going to give the town hall back to the, uh, to the, to the town of West Hartford. Um, one, um, I, I, I stay awake at night worrying that this movement will dissipate, right? <laughs> um, and, and yet I implore you to remember that there is nothing you feel today, no anxiety, no fear, no sadness, that cannot be cured by your continued political action. It is an absolute honor to get to represent you in the United States Senate. Thank you for being here tonight. Hi, I'm Emma and this is Scout and today we are going to check out West Hartford's monthly pop-up dog park. West Hartford does not have their own dog park, so the West Hartford Dog Park Coalition, a volunteer organization, has made it their goal to work with the town in order to establish a dog park. In the meantime, they hold monthly pop-up dog parks in places all over the town for West Hartford residents to come with their dogs and have a great time. This month, the pop-up dog park was held at Kennedy Memorial Field, which had a large fenced-in area, which gave dogs the opportunity to run around free without their leashes on and meet new dogs. So this is an attempt to get a dog park in the town of West Hartford, and in the meantime, the town has agreed to do pop-up dog parks until we can get a permanent location situated um, to encourage um, fun and, and show interest in the park. First shift got here at uh, 9.45 and set up to make sure this was enclosed for the dogs and then we'll leave and pick up at 1 o'clock and bring our donations. We ask for donations and it's going to the Humane Society. The peaks are around 50 to 75 dogs, um, however it seems like it's much more than that, probably 150 over the, over the four hour period we usually have it open. And you guys Socialization is very important for dogs, so this is a great opportunity for some of the dogs to get out of their house and release some energy and meet some new friends. 
Since we live in a busy neighborhood, Scout doesn't always have the opportunity to go outside without a leash on. So this was a great experience for her to run around free and for me to not have to worry about any cars or traffic coming. She had a great time and was clearly exhausted by the time she got home. So I'm standing here at AC Peterson's with the manager Marlon and today is 65 cent cone day. So Marlon, what made you do 65 cent cones? Well, it was all a promotional for the weather because of the change of the season, you know, just to get the people to come out and know that we're still here and we represent our ice cream as usual. <laughs> and to just get the people to come back out and recognize AC Peterson is still here and we have great flavors. Well, it is quite delicious up in here. As you can see, I am a portly gentleman myself, so I will be partaking in several 65 cent ice creams. Now, if you had to pick an ice cream for anybody, you're to say this is the one you got to have. What would it be? Cake batter. Cake batter. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Extreme chocolate. Extreme chocolate. So next level chocolate. Now, what you have, bud? I kept it simple with the vanilla and sprinkles. Vanilla sprinkles. You have the entire thing in front of you, and you just go, can I have the one I can get every day, please? That's a silly ice cream flavor, isn't it? What? What's over there? Ooh, is there, is there a, is a cow over there? Now, now, Avery, what made you pick cotton candy as the ice cream you wanted to have today? Because I like cotton candy. Well, cotton candy is delicious. Man. It's a big day, guys. It's a big deal. We're very excited about it. I'm very excited to eat some ice cream. I'm sure you guys are tired of making it, but I would really appreciate it if someone threw together some cake batter ice cream for me. Is that cool? Can we get that happening? You can get that happening. Oh, man, Marlon, thank you so, so much. Hospitals and other medical facilities need blood year-round, and unfortunately, there's during the year many tragedies have happened, and uh, there's always a need for blood. And it's one thing we can do without any pain or sacrifice. Um, so you just gave blood. How do you how do you feel about that? I feel great. It's it's a good feeling. The thing is, it's it's, it's very painless. I mean, it's actually very relaxing. I mean, Procedures, you fill out a survey, uh, they ask you a few questions to make sure you're up to it. So the only time is if you have a low iron count, you may not be able to uh, donate because of some restrictions. But otherwise, it's a very painless procedure. You get to lie down, you get a pint of blood, and it's done before you know it. And it's very relaxing and only takes about maybe total time, maybe a half hour. I've been given blood for years and years and years. Um, well, I probably put my card away. I'm a, an honorary donor. It doesn't hurt at all. I mean, absolutely hurts at all. When, you know, when they, the needle for the blood, it's, a, it's more like a pinch. It's a pinch. Um, and if you hate the side of blood, you just turn your head. I mean, it, it really is. I mean, I, it's, if, if it was really painful, and I'm not one who's much for pain, I wouldn't do it. But I mean, it's a little pinch and it's gone. I would, if you're able to donate, I would, oh, uh, that's a nice card. And does it tell you your, oh, your dates are up there? Yep, now with this card, I've given 13 units. Drink some, uh, maybe some non-carbonated drinks like uh, orange juice, you can even have coffee. I mean, I wouldn't donate on an empty stomach, so, but not to have a full meal, just to have something in your stomach uh, makes it a little easier for you. I try to give as often as I can. It doesn't, it doesn't always work. I, there was a time uh, that I didn't give for over a year. When a blood drive is nice and close, um, you're there. I'm here. It's, it's not, I mean, unless someone, no, there's really no risk, there's no pain, 
half hour of your time, blood, it's always needed, and you know, you can do it as uh, every 56 days, I think is the wow. 56 days you can donate. And uh, there's always donation centers all over the state, and um, they really need it. It's really, and if it, it's, it's, it's really something that's so easy to do. Locally owned and operated by the Joseph family, our store is completely remodeled and offers a variety of high quality products and exceptional value. You can find us at the corner of Kane and Prospect and experience our mission of having a positive impact on our associates, customers, and community.